In this video, I'll show you how you can create big, beautiful, natural looking light in a very, very small space. Welcome back to The Breakdown. My name is Miguel Quiles. I am joined here in the studio today by Veronica. And uh, we are going to be shooting in a very small, confined space. I've had a lot of people watching my videos that have said, well, Miguel, yeah, you could take all these great photos because you have this big, huge studio. In reality, the space isn't that big, but I saw it as a challenge. So what I did today was I set up a very kind of a small shooting space that maybe you may find yourself in or maybe find yourself in at some point in your career. Uh, so what we did was we took white V-flats and we basically made a very small space. Now, the length of this V-flat to my wall is about eight feet, but from the, the background that we're using right now, it's probably around seven feet. So it's about seven feet from this white wall to the pink uh, Savage background. And then from the left to the right is probably Let's see, if I extend across, this is probably like five and a half to six feet across. I'm not sure, give or take. Uh, so it's a pretty small space uh, that we're gonna be shooting in right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to maximize this space to not only get really cool looking portrait, but to make it look like a big, beautiful, soft, natural looking light. Let's talk about our setup. We're gonna be shooting all of these with the Sony a6500 and I have it paired with a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. If you're looking to shoot portraits and you want something that is affordable, whether you're shooting with Sony, Nikon, Canon, doesn't matter, they always have a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens that is usually really high quality for the price that you pay. Uh, so I'm using the 50 millimeter. You can use it in such a tight space to shoot really close up portraits, which is nice. Um, I've got the Sony Radio Commander. This is gonna be triggering my flash which happens to be a Sony uh, HVLF 60RM. This is a radio controlled uh, pocket flash. And we have this on a Profoto Speedlight holder and it's going through a three foot octa. Now this is different. It's kind of a different setup because uh, obviously when you're using off camera flash and you're using modifiers, you usually have the modifiers pointing at your model to light them but we're doing something a little bit different. Once you start to understand how light works, you can figure out ways to make it better. So rather than having this kind of as a frontal direct light, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this smaller, it's only a three foot light, but we're gonna make it bigger. The way we're gonna do that, we're gonna bounce this light off of this white wall, and we're gonna use this small room to our advantage because what's gonna happen is this light is gonna bounce all over the place. It's gonna create this big, soft, beautiful light. Without further ado, let's just take a look at it. Let's see how it looks. All right, everybody, so that is how we shoot in a really small enclosed space. I would love to know what you guys thought about this. Leave it in the comment section below and let me know if you have any questions as well while you're down there. Also, while you're here, make sure that you follow Veronica on Instagram. She's got a lot of great photos there, uh, some of which we did in the past. Yeah. We've got some other shoots that yeah. weren't part of a video, but definitely go check those out. And uh, while you're here, make sure you subscribe to Adorama TV. They have new videos coming out all the time, as well as the Adorama Learning Center. There's a lot of articles about photography and videography, all kinds of cool stuff there. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching The Breakdown. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye.